It's your boy Drewski, and you tune in to Dumb New World TV. Thought it was over, and over, 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 What's up? This trailer with Domino Roller TV, man. We got your boy Drewski, man. What's going oh, yeah. on, man? Just chilling, man. Hey, bro. We appreciate you bringing us down to Monroe, bro. Man, I want y'all to turn up tonight with me. You feel me? Already, man. That's what we definitely gonna do. So, man, we came down, man. This this event that you got going on is like the weekend. It's like it's it's about Drewski, man. Yeah, it's, it's your crazy. BD, your B day bash, man. It's crazy, man. It's like. It's crazy right now. Like I, I ain't expected to be this crazy. Like seriously, but this motherfucker is crazy. Yeah, it really is, man. You had an event yesterday as well, right? Yeah, I had um first Friday and I had an after party at Club Onyx. Man, it's like <laughs> it's like us or something, man. man you know what I mean? Big I, like that, like man, like for real. Like you turning up for the city for yeah. real. Like who's some of the people you got coming down? Oh, I got Fred Combs. I got Louisiana Cash, Mr. Walk with a dip. Okay. I got Young Troll coming from Lafayette. I got Rudd the Youngin coming from Tennessee. I got Rap City ATL, like the shooter, man. It's like, man, all surrounding here is up, man. Mindy Bass, the Rust and Raver, they in here tonight, man. Like, man, it's that's, crazy. that's what's up, bro. I know you, you real busy, man. It's been, we've been trying to get this interview done, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, since earlier, but I know how it is, man. Event day, you moving, man. It's a lot going on. Man, so look, man, tell me, like, how you going to cut up tonight? You performing, right? Nah, see, I just, tonight I'm showing a lot of love to all the other local artists, you know what I'm saying? I'm, okay. you know, showing the knowledge that they put in for the city, too, and then the upcoming artists that's coming up in the city, let them do their thing for the city, too, that's you know what I'm saying? Just showing love, I don't, you know, I'm sitting back, man. That's what's up, man. Know? That's what's up. You so you really gonna just enjoy the festivities, I'm just man. Enjoying it, just you know, happy. We got a pack house here. You know, Dominic Roller TV in the building. Already, we, got, we got guests, man. It's turnt. It's it's like turnt. Already, real. man. Hey, we excited, bro. Look, man. man. Tell the people a little bit about your background, man. Like what what Drewski came from, man. Tell us a little bit about that. Drewski, well, really, I got that from I got that name from high school. You feel okay, like, okay. My name ain't Andrew, you feel me? But they call me Drew. All you right. feel me? That ski came in, you know what I'm saying? From the hoes, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I put that together, Drew Ski. You feel right. me? And that's where they came in, and, and I ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think I, I heard that in the song. You had put that in the song yeah. about the ski part. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they call me Drew Ski. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I man. I ran with it. So, like, how was it growing up, man, for you? Like honestly, I'm gonna be honest, man. It, it went, it went hard. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It went hard, yeah. but it was hard for my mama. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, Her right. struggle was hard because as a child, I had everything. You feel me? But I, I come from the projects. I'm like straight from the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight off the block. You know right. what I'm saying? On the streets. But as a child, you know what I'm saying? We don't see what you don't, we don't see what your mama and your dad will go through to get you what you want out here. You feel right. me? So a lot of people just say their childhood was hard. Or, you know what I'm saying? But I'm keeping one hundred. My 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 shit was hard in school. Right. School. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My childhood was hard because it was so much jealousy. You know okay. what I'm saying? Envy. I, I mean, you know I had it all. Right? Anything the kid what was new with the kids, I had it. Mama busting her ass on that graveyard for me. Right. Shout out to her too. You feel me? Man, that's what's up. So you have like a, a real close bond with your mom? Yeah, yeah. She like Drake said, I love nobody but my bed and my mom, girl. I'm sorry. Right, right. For right, real. Right. Man, See. so when you started rapping? Um, I've been rapping since like 13, but I took it serious when I got in 12th grade. Okay. Uh, I had to break that little shyness, you know what I'm saying? But So you were shy little, at one time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. You know. Like, you know? Mama kept a nigga close, man. Right. She ain't letting nigga deal with strangers, so it was it was hard adapting to new faces. Right, right, you know what right. I'm yeah, man. So um, like, all right. So you say you picked up rap like in after after high school or in high school? In high school, my my senior, and okay. like um, I graduated in two thousand nine. All right, but it took off in two thousand eleven. Like okay. city wise, like my brother, he served the country two times. You know what I'm saying? Afghanistan, Iraq, Flex and Road. You know what I'm saying? Free him right now. He incarcerated. Feel me? Oh, okay. I got you, though, big bro. You know what I'm saying? He went to Afghanistan, ran it up, came back. He started a record label, YG yeah. Entertainment, and he was like, he know I was doing my thing, but I didn't have the equipment. So you know, that shit was clustered when he was in, but he was, you know what I'm saying? So he came home. He was like, man, I'm gonna start a group. You know what I'm saying? Get you five guys, you know what I'm saying, and do this music, put y'all together, put right. some bread behind this, and shit, that's what it was. What the YG stand for? Young Gunners. 
Young Gunners, okay. Yeah, Young right, Gunners. So everybody that's affiliated is a YG then, right? Yeah, Young Gunners. But we changed it, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what is it now? Gunner. Just Gunner. Gunner, straight. Just Gunner. <laughs> Took the Young out. Just, yeah, yeah, just straight Gunner, you feel me? So, man, you got a song. It's called uh, Smiling in My Face. Yeah. I like that song, man. Appreciate it sound, it. it sound personal. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Real talk. Like, what, what brought that song about? Cause it's it be it's just too much faking going on. Like a lot of that that's going on these days, man. Is you know what I'm saying? They they talk about you one minute and then like say for example, mm -hmm. okay, you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. You feel me? They say this and say that, but like right now, as of right now, the the biggest bash, you know what I'm saying, going on in the city tonight. Right. You got everybody calling your phone. Everybody want to know what you're. Everybody want to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get this on the daily. I don't Dude. get that on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm 27 years old with three kids, man. I don't got time for that, man. Quit that, man. Come on. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with me. Keep right. it like that. It ain't no jealousy. You no, know, hey, we just stay your lane. I stay my lane, and there's that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas act like they fuck with you, but they don't fuck with you. Only for what they want to fuck with you for. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That's just you no know, quit. Quit that. They gonna hear it tonight though. They gonna hear. It. Already, man. And hey, you uh, you said something else in your song. I think you said something about uh, you seen uh, I want to say fifty four. I had, 40. I had, I had fifty niggas mobbing. Yeah. And forty five. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Biggest wow. movement to come through Monroe. Seriously. Yeah. Biggest movement. I'm talking about from West Monroe, South Side, North Side, East Side. Everybody was with the YG movement. Everybody. Okay. The whole city, like everybody, when we move, you you got 50, 60 people coming through the club. Seriously, like they stopped right. booking us because we was too deep. We okay. was too deep every show, and you know, you know, man, jealousy, man. They they we six we six in the group, and you got you got guys wondering why why he got so many tracks. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Why yeah. are we pushing him? You know what I'm saying? Because right, 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 right. in the studio. You know what right, I'm saying? Juicy right. in the studio. I ain't. I'm in there every day. You right. know what I'm saying? So we start breaking up off that, you know, because they feel like I'm getting too much shine when my brother put all of us on our, you know what I'm saying, our first show together. Right. This everybody first show together. Right. Not to okay. mention that, you feel me? But after that, the streets judged who they wanted. Right. You know what I'm saying? The streets adapt to who. They liked it the most. It wasn't no favoritism. Oh, he doing this because that's his brother. Nah, man, it's who the you know the streets took it to me. You know what I said? Right. I was I've been known before rap around my city. Yeah, you know where, where you from in Monroe? I'm from the South Side. Okay, you All know right. what I'm saying. My dad is from the North. My mama from the from the South. But I graduated on the East Side. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, okay, so what what is it like from the you know com the South compared to the the East Side? We say the West Side or East Side. I'm from the South. Okay. Like, the South, the South is 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 about the only different side in, in Monroe from every other side. Yeah. The North side is one. Uh, east side is one. Mm -hmm. West side is one. But the South, you might got you might go through twenty five sections through the South. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody want to be a big dog. Everybody want to be the general. Everybody want to be the kingpin. Right. There's too many hoods in the South, but we the largest. Yeah, we the okay. largest though. So man, look, man. Uh, so out of the uh, you said fifty people. Fifty people. So out of the fifty people, was everybody intended on being uh artists on the label? We had six. Everybody else was just like, they was like, they was, they was, they was, they was, they, they was, po they wanted to be down with the movement. I ain't gonna say they okay. was down with the movement because if they were down with the movement, they'll still be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying they wanted to be with the movement for the time being. Right. You know, we had outsiders coming in just hanging. You know what I'm saying? Then everybody, everybody starting to want to rap. You know oh, what I'm saying? okay, I got you. Everybody want to rap, like yeah. Nah, man, it's, it's, they they rather be famous than rich hmm. around here. Yeah, man, I feel that, man. You do you have like any mixtapes out right now? Yeah, I got I got on XXL. Okay. Freshman of the boot on Spinnerilla. I got a young nigga by life reincarnated on Spinnerilla. And I got YNBL Testament on Spinnerilla. Okay. You know okay. Saying? So, like, Spinnerilla, that, that's the only platform that you got your music on right now? Yeah, that's my only right now. And you know, I got a couple YouTube videos. Drewski run it back. 
Okay. Drewski nominate me. Drewski quit smiling in my face. Yeah, that's I got my jam a couple right video. Now. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready for that thing to go on tonight. Already, man. Yeah. Look, so like, man, uh, you say you got you got Abe Bay coming too, huh? Yeah. Man, like you, you really been like really doing some groundwork, man. You really man. been covering some ground. Pulling all my connects together, all my plugs, you know, I don't mind sharing. You yeah. feel me? Like these cats, they ain't gonna share their connects, they ain't gonna share their plugs. Right. You no, know, I don't mind because my plug might benefit you better. You feel me? Then it benefit me, and it might get us in the door, and then you know, send the ladder back down. Right. There you go. You right. Know what I'm saying. Okay. So, um, do you plan on uh like long term still being an artist or, or owning a label? Owning a label. I could see that. That's like, why I asked you that. The way you. I'm headed there right now. Like, like, like my brother. He he invested it in the label and started the label, but you know what I'm saying. I really got the LLCs on the label though. Okay. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah. You know he he really he started and kicked it out, but it, he faded too. You know went back to you know other things, school, kids, you know father. Yeah. You know I me I just combined it all in one. Okay. Kids, music, shit. So are you a full time artist? Yeah. So you don't have no other job, and this is what you Not do. This this the, this the work, this the hustle, this the grind. That's what's up, man. It is this everything. You feel me? So I, it gotta pop. Right. It gotta pop. So man, like, what's the next upcoming project that you have coming up? Like, right now, I haven't been I haven't been working on a new project. Okay. Cause when I, once I get back in there, it's, it's full time, nothing, nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I've been right now, just everything been toward tonight. Okay. The bash, like all my energy just been, you know, dealing with club owners, promoters, artists. It's just been one way right now. Okay. You know so, man, like, tell me, how would you explain your style? My style, I'm gonna say, I don't have. Uh, you you might hear that from a lot of people saying, you know, you gonna they gonna say my I got my own style, you know, I got my own swag, which I do. You know what I'm saying? I, like I only like you. You can't hear you can't hear my music, and I say I sound like somebody. Like you can't check out none of my music and say he sound like him or he sound like oh it's that him. You know I got this me. Right, right. I sound right. like nobody. Like nobody in the game. I don't sound like nobody. That's you right. Know what I'm okay, man. So like, do you have like any influences? Tilt. Tilt. Boosie. Okay. Gates. Okay. Wayne. Okay. Young boy. Come you know on. All right. All right. So you 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 um you really into you know the culture then. Yeah, I, culture I, 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 I you know what I'm saying. I love that boot music for right. sure. Right. right. I love all of the cats coming out of the boot for sure. Right. I don't care where you're from. I know BR got the most, but I don't care where you're from. Right. I love it. I, I love that, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But overall, like tip. Tip though, that's my number one artist. It been like this since I was about ten, eleven. Like, yeah, man. Ain't no change. I got a lot of respect for Tip, man. Yeah. Like not only like the music, but his his business. You know what I'm saying? The way he carried and conducted himself. Father, like, all that. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? So you say you have three kids, right? Yeah. So what do you have? I have a little. Uh, well, I have a boy. He's my oldest, and I have two girls. Okay. Okay. What's okay. that like, man? Two girls and a and a little boy. That's tough. That's tough. Thank God he's the oldest, right? Yes. <laughs> right. Cause man, that's tough. That, that, that's gonna be my gray hair right there. Them girls, though. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> he stay out of my way, but them girls, man. Shit. <laughs> Shout out to my babies, man. Already, man. So look, bro. Tonight's gonna be epic, man. Hey, we ready, bro? Like, man. Just just give me a little insight of what's to come, man, for the night, bro. Motherfucker over capacity. Come on. Um man, I don't even know what the word to say. I don't even know what to say about it. I'm I'm still shocked. I'm still really stuck about this part, man. It's like it's crazy, man. This shit's gonna be crazy, man. Like bad talk. Is all I can say, man. Come on, man. Bad talk, man. Man, we can't wait, bro. Look, bro, this is something that we do on the show. It's something new that we do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna ask you, I wanna ask you on um, what makes you dominant. You know, first off, Dominant, you know, that's the name of the company, Dominant Roller TV. But um, Dominant means to be on top of things, to be, you know, overall, you know what I'm saying? Like, you dominate your certain arena. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So I just want to ask you, man, what makes you Dominant? My wisdom. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a very creative thinker. You know what I'm saying? Than, a mo than most cats in my generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of cats that's 25, 26, 27 don't think like me. They don't move like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask anybody in my city, could no cat that's 27 years old put these events together like me. Could nobody do this? Couldn't really, could no artist really just do this? You know what I'm saying? To bring the city together like this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my, my, you know what I'm saying? My thinking, my creative thinking, you know what I'm saying? Me getting smarter every day, wiser and wiser. That's what make me dominant than, than a lot of these cats, man. Cause they ain't thinking at you. They ain't thinking, man. They ain't thinking, dog. Thought it was old, 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 old. I'ma show you, show you, I'ma dominate, roll.